Now we need a tool to take all the images from your cell phone and put it online on your computer. Well, now you can do that with an app called Google Photos. If there was one app that I wanted to recommend to you today out of all the apps out there, this would be the one. Anybody who has a cell phone with a camera in particular, let's say that you want uh, some photos from your phone to be downloadable on your computer. Well, anything from your phone, as long as you have Google Photos installed, uh, it's a great sync tool. So what you would do is go on your computer, type in photos.google.com. It will add facial recognition so that you can then go in and label the people. So I labeled this Mark Rep, for example. And then um, this was my cat, Ronald. You give them a name and then it will find them by name. And then when you do searches for people, uh, you can see all those facial images in little circular buttons and click on that person's face and it will bring up more photos of that person. But it doesn't stop there. Maybe you recently took a trip to Chicago. You simply type in a search for that topic and it will find all the photos on your phone from that location. So if you took a really cool vacation trip or if you plan to take one this summer, I'll show you how that magic works. In a new tab, type in photos.google.com. This will take me now to my Google Photos. Uh, there's my new cat. Uh, here's pictures from Mackinac Island. And uh, so all I would have to do is type in just a very generic word like water, just a quick little search of water, press the enter button, and it will bring up all the photos on my phone that have water. Okay, how about kayaking? Maybe there's some people out there who are kayakers. I'll type in the word kayak and it will find any photo that has a kayak in it or boat. I could just type boat. And there you go. So here's the Chicago search. And uh, the Chicago trip that I took was back in 2018. And what you do to save space on your phone is every once in a while, I would say about every month or two, Google Photos will ask if you want to conserve space. And it will then archive all of the photos with one tap. You tap on the button to archive your photos and it will back them up to the cloud and then it will take them off of your phone and store them on photos.google.com and that will actually get them out of your phone's storage. It's a way to conserve storage space on your phone. It's a way to have all the phone photos available to you online and actually start making albums. Create an album and uh, give it a title and share it with other people. So to do that, I would just click on the three dotted button, click share album, type in the email addresses of anybody that I want to share it with, and I'm good to go. It's as simple as that.